Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and today in this video I am going to tell you how to remove all the Bluetooth applications on the Poco X2 smartphone. As we all know, Xiaomi or its sub-brands Redmi and Poco as a part of their cost-cutting spree, they include a lot of advertisements or ads and a lot of bloatwares in these devices. And Poco X2 is not an exception. It comes with at least 20 pre-installed bloatware or junkware applications that comes pre-installed on this smartphone. I have made a separate folder which contains at least 20 applications which are actually not needed for the general user. Some applications like Hilo or Get Apps are actually pre-installed and in this video I am going to tell you how you can actually remove every one of them both on the smartphone itself and also by using the computer. Out of all the bloatware apps that comes pre-installed with the Poco X2 smartphone, Me Music is one such application which I actually do not recommend to uninstall because this comes with the ringtone cutter application feature which actually helps you to keep your favorite songs as your ringtones. But inside the Me Music applications, just turn off all these recommendations or the ads that comes because it will be less annoying. Just go to its settings and just turn off these receive recommendations, online recommendations and some song recommendations or anything else. And also just go to the settings of this Me Music app and just turn off all the notifications before we can go ahead and proceed to the next step of uninstalling the other bloatware applications. As you can see, I have made a folder which contains around 20 apps which are considered as bloatwares or not needed applications for the general user. Some of them can be uninstalled on the phone itself. Just long press and drag on that uninstall option and all these apps will get uninstalled. But some of them will be present still on the phone which can't be uninstalled using the phone. So there, just go to the settings and go to about phone and now just click on the MIUI version for 7 times. Now you will enable the developer options on your smartphone. Just go to additional settings and here there is the developer options. Just go to developer options and turn on the USB debugging. Just click on OK. Now you have done that. Just connect your smartphone to a computer. Actually you can connect to any Windows or Mac PC or even a Linux computer. Now you have to actually set the USB connection mode to USB file transfer on and actually you have to now install a software on your computer and the link for the software will be actually present in the description and also I will give you guys the tutorial in this video which is very simple guys. Now once you have actually installed the software and once you actually open it a prompt will be presented on your phone like this and you have to actually give OK to turn on the USB debugging. Now let's jump into our computer and open your Chrome browser or any other browser and this is the link which has been provided in the description just open the link scroll down and these are the three different files depending upon your type of the computer just download any of the zip file don't download the jar file because the process is little bit difficult since my computer is actually a windows one i'll be downloading the windows.zip file now since the windows.zip file will be successfully downloaded just go to this pc and in your downloads just find where is this zip file and just extract it on your computer as you can see me bloatware remover in this folder i have put this zip file and i'll be just extracting this zip file when i extract the zip file i will actually get this xiaomi adb fastboot tools this is actually the exe file or executable file which you have to actually open it and once you open it a software or the me bloatware removal tool will be opened immediately after the tool is launched on your mobile phone a prompt will be displayed like this and you have to just click on ok when you click on ok the device will be recognized by this software and now is the important process just open this tool maximize it and just select the apps which you have to uninstall just look carefully and follow the instructions that i am giving in this video don't uninstall applications which you are not confident of just uninstall the me browser application get apps application and many other bloatware applications like the 
Google Lens or the Facebook services application and the Me Credit, the Me Pay, Me Health, Me Mover and many other apps which we actually do not use on a daily basis or which we do not need will be pre-installed even without your notice. Just click on those apps and make sure that you have selected the apps which you are confident of. And once you have selected all the apps which you do not need, like the me video and many other apps guys just hit on the uninstall that is present at the bottom of this screen and once you click on uninstall just click on yes and all the apps will be uninstalled from your phone now you have done that just go ahead and reboot your smartphone and once you reboot your smartphone the process will be successfully completed and your poco x2 will be free of all sorts of bloatware, junkware and all sorts of stupid applications which you actually do not use or need. Especially the Mi Browser app which comes pre-installed had a lot of criticism and allegations that it sends the data of the user to Chinese servers. So why should be you know even confused about whether it sends or not just remove it off by using this process and your phone will be looking clean and it feels lighter and it feels more faster just because there is some free space available for us and we have uninstalled all the bloatwares from our smartphone successfully and this process has two steps as i've explained completely one is uninstalling all apps from the phone itself and one by using the me bloatware removal tool on your computer that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this one thank you for watching guys